Hey, Melissa here from Girl Gone Fishing, and I am up at Strictly Sail and Kayak for our Meet the Team and Kayak Rigging Day. And so I've got my kayak all set up. It's kind of like a test run for my first tournament tomorrow. I thought it would be a perfect time to show you guys what kind of setup I'm doing this year. Made a few changes, mostly about the same, but let me walk you around. Alright, so here's the links. Right here at the front, I've got my rogue pull strap. I think they sell it as a stand assist tow strap. But it is really handy for dragging it or pulling it on a river. I've got my Yak Attack Leverage Landing Net. And I can hold that secure with one of these Yak Attack paddle holders, Roto Grip paddle holder. Got my front camera mount. So there's my GoPro, and it's on a Yak Attack Panfish Pro mount on my H rail. Got my new Garmin mounted there. On this side, I've got my two Hobie horizontal rod holders. So this is gonna hold, it has three spots, but it probably holds about five or six rods. And I used to put my paddle in there too, but this year I'm gonna try putting the double roto grip paddle holder because they came out with these extenders. So this is Yak Attack and it's an extender so I can move it outside. So maybe I can use both, we'll see. I love these little retractors that attaches onto my H-rail. I've got my pliers on there. You don't know how many pliers I've thrown in the water, so attach them now. Coming back here, we got the H-crate. My H-crate has rod holders mounted on it, and I mount my back camera on that. This is one of the new Yak Attack uh, grippier kind of mounts. I forget what it's called. I'll put all the links in the in the description, but. This is the Yak Attack Boomstick mount for my back GoPro. And the plan for that is to be able to get those over shoulder cast to catch shots. This year, something new. I bought this from LA Kayaks or LA Custom Kayaks, something like that. And it is a really neat, it goes into the pre existing drilled holes. And I've moved my flag back there. So that's my Yak Attack uh, light flag combo. And I put an extender on it so it's a little taller because my kayak's so low profile. I just wanted it to be a little more visible. So a couple little custom tweaks I've made that I'm real happy with. There's my cart, my Hobie behind the seat bag that I really fell in love with last year. It's so handy to have some stuff you need right there because like my Lynx doesn't have any storage hatches or anything. So speaking of storage, I put everything in the H crate. I run one Dakota lithium power box and uh, one of these big yak power boxes and there's three little Dakota lithium box, uh, batteries inside there. So one I power my back GoPro and my fish finder with and then the other I use for my front GoPro and my phone. And then in here I also have, this is my dry bag with my fishing license, registration, all that stuff, emergency first aid kit and uh, that's where my tackle boxes will go. And then coming up here, I'm trying out a new anchor. I just have it on a line on the little carry handle here. Always need a cup holder. Sometimes I have two, one for like crankbaits and stuff. My phone holder. I've tried a bunch of different ones of these. Right now I'm liking this, the Ram X Grip for bigger phones. Always have a Yak Attack, or a, always have a Rogue Fishing Tether phone tether on there. So this goes on your phone and then it clips onto the boat. I will never have my phone over water without one of those. Got my catch board. Got that tethered here. I've got some grippers in case you get something toothy or a catfish where you don't know where to put your thumb, or at least I don't know where to put my thumb. And we're back to the front. What did I miss? Oh, got kayak cushions. I've got one for the bottom and the back, but this is the important one. It really makes the seat better. And I got my Mustang inflatable P my Mustang inflatable PFD personal flotation device with a new Hobie whistle on there. So there you go. So there you go. That's my setup for this year. Looking forward to my tournament tomorrow morning. Temperature's dropping pretty fast here. It's going to be about 28 when we launch, but it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. So excited. See you out on the water.